Okay, uh, welcome back to just use WordPress.com. And uh, if you've been uh, following the steps, um, right now you should have a kind of working shell of a website. And um, basically, your back end, you should have the anti spam, uh, the security protection, uh, so no one can, you know, randomly hack into your site. And um, the other security parameters should be kind of set up. Now, this is kind of real time development. So, uh, based upon that, if you go to log in right now, this is what I'm seeing. Okay, so people get a little bit concerned about this. They're like, oh, what do I do? And if you notice here, it's like, okay, there's a new version of WordPress out. Well, don't freak out. Uh, this is common with using WordPress. Now, what I found with a number of my other WordPress sites is there's actually some mistakes you can make when you upgrade the new version of WordPress. So to make this seamless and painless, as painless as possible, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and show you the way that I would go through the update. So the first thing you notice here is this dashboard on the, on the left side. I have some plugins that need to be updated. So I'm going to click on my plugins and it's going to let me know that there's an update available. I click on that and it's this uh, jetpack for WordPress which I'll go over later and I'm just going to automatically update that. And what you'll know is it goes through and um, you'll notice here that the unpackaging update could not create a directory. Okay, so this is um, this is sometimes a common error that occurs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return to the plugin page, and I'm going to go ahead and deactivate this plugin. Um, then I'm going to go back to my plugins. And I want to look at the active plugins. And I'm just going to go and deactivate all of my plugins. Okay, what this does is it basically allows me to then go in and click on Update Database Now. Now, um, it's going to encourage me to update uh, this Jetpack by WordPress. Um, so I got kind of two options. I can automatically do this or I can download it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do the um, update automatically and see what happens. Now it's saying to back up my database, but I already have the automated uh, database backup plugin. If I go to my email, I've been getting emails with the database, but at this point, I really haven't done much. I've just updated. Um, I've just you know launched WordPress, and other than that, I don't have much going on. Okay, so you'll notice here that I, I did get a successful update. Thumbs up. So basically, what I can do now is I'll go back to my dashboard, and then I'm going to go back to my plugins, <clears throat> and then I'm going to activate them. Uh, the typical error that you would get there is that it was unsuccessful in updating. Now I'm going to go to see if Jetpack will actually update. And if it doesn't update, I'm going to make another video about how to update this. Okay, I'm still getting that error. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do is um, go to um, a whole other thing here. And because I'm a little bit short on time, I'm going to I'm going to cut this into two videos. So essentially that's how to update the the common mistake is not deactivating the plugins. You want to deactivate the plugin first, then update WordPress. If that doesn't work, there's a, there's another path to go down, but for the most part that's going to do it. You just automatically update, know that your backups are already in place and um, you'll go ahead and update. Now you do get these plugins that are a little bit challenging. So I'm going to go through that in another video here.